Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today. To always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day to always give him the thanks right now. Another day to always give him the praise right now. Another day to always give him the glory. To shout out his holy name. Because he is King of Kings. And he is Lord of Lords. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. And he is so worthy. He is so worthy to be praised. And before we get into today's word. Let us just begin to praise and worship Jesus for who he is. Let us begin to worship and thank him for what he's already done. Let us thank and praise and worship him for what he's about to do in our life. Heavenly Father God, we just want to say thank you right now today in your holy, precious, mighty name. We want to thank you, Father God, for who you are. We want to thank you, Father God, for what you have done. We want to thank you, Father God. How far we don't came in our life, how far we don't came in our journey, how far we don't came in our assignment, how far we don't came in our mission. And God, we couldn't have done it if you was not right there with you, with us. God, we couldn't have done it if you was not holding on to us. God, we couldn't have done it if we would have let go of your unchangeable hands. So God, we thank you, Father God, for holding us tight. We thank you, Father God, for holding on to our hands. We thank you, Father God, even though we felt like we were slipping, that you were still pulling us back closer to you, Jesus. Oh, God, we just thank you, Father God, for how merciful you are, how loving you are, how understanding you are, how forgiving you are. We thank you, Father God, that we're able to be in your house right now to please you and praise you and glorify your holy name. Oh, God, we nothing without you, Jesus. Father God, we can't even make it or comprehend without you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for you continue to cover us and protect us and shield us because you are our healer. You are our provider. Jesus, you are our everything. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for the things that we have right now. We are content of what we have right now, Father God. It doesn't matter we see things yet, but Jesus, we're going to continue to thank you. We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to glorify you. We're going to continue to put on the full armor of Christ each and every day. We're going to continue to, to pick up our, our, our hammer and read our word. We're going to continue to pick up our crosses, Jesus, and continue to follow you. We're always going to choose faith over fear, God. But God, in the midst of that, we're going to continue to thank you. We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to worship you, Jesus. Father God, we're so thankful, God, that you woke us up today, God, because without you, Jesus, we wouldn't have been here right now today. So we thankful, God, that you breathe life inside of us. We thank you, Father God, for the help that you've given us. We thank you, Father God, for our health. We thank you for our arms. We thank you for our legs. We thank you for our ears. We thank you for our eyes. We just thank you for our sight. We just thank you, Father God, for our ability, God, that we're able to move around. We thank you for our homes. We thank you for our jobs. We thank you, for, Father God, for the food that you have put on our table, God, because a lot of people, God, is not even fortunate, God, to even have the things that we have, God. And, God, we want to thank you for, God, for what we do have. That's why it's so important, God, to be, con to be content for what you have. And I'm so, I'm so thankful, God. I'm so thankful, Jesus, that I can always depend on you. I'm so thankful, Jesus, that I can always rely on you. I'm so thankful, Jesus, that I can always call on your holy name because you never leave us or forsake us. Thank you, Jesus. And I just can't thank you, Father God, that you didn't, leave us, that you didn't bring us this far, God, to even leave us, God, that you love us too much, God, that, God, you will not put us in a predicament, God, that is going to hurt us, God. And we thank you, Father God, for our trials. We thank you, Father God, for our tribulations. We thank you, Father God, for the pain that we are enduring right now, the sacrifice, the hardship, Jesus, because without pain and adversary, there's no victory, Jesus. Victory lies with you because you are victory, Jesus. And Father God, anything, anything, Jesus, that is attached to you, it already has won. And we have the victory, God, through you. So my brothers right now today, we are claiming victory. My sisters right now today, Jesus, we are claiming victory. Glory, hallelujah. I know that you can feel the presence of the Lord that's around you right now today. Reach your hand out and continue to praise him. Continue to glorify him. Continue to shout out his holy name. Continue to let him know that you can't thank him enough. 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 You can't 
thank him enough. You can't thank him enough. You can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. You are so worthy, Jesus. So worthy. Thank you, Jesus. To be praised. Holy Spirit, move through this place right now. Holy Spirit, move through my sisters right now. Holy Spirit, move through my brothers right now. Holy Spirit, move through me right now. Holy Spirit, touch us, uplift us, and enlighten us right now. Remove the fish scales from my brother's eyes right now today, Holy Spirit, so they can see clearly whatever it is that Jesus needs them to see right now. Holy Spirit, remove the earplugs from my brother's ear right now today so they can hear Jesus' soft, still voice. Holy Spirit, remove the fish scales from my sister's eyes right now so they can see clearly whatever it is that Jesus needs them to see. Holy Spirit, remove the earplugs from my sister's ear right now so they can hear clearly Jesus soft still voice today and I believe that somebody's about to cry to Jesus. I believe right now today through this praise and worship right now somebody about to ask Jesus. They want to they be part of Jesus' world. They want their commitment. They want their relationship. Somebody about to sacrifice their life to Jesus right now. And I want to say congratulations to you today my brothers my sisters. You need Jesus in your life. Without him you can't make it my brothers my sisters. But with him everything is possible. And Father God, we just, we just want to continue to thank you right now. I'm so thankful, God, to be in your presence right now. I'm so thankful, God, to be in your house. I'm so thankful right now today, Father God, that I'm able to fellowship with my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus right now. I just thank you, Father God, for your love. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm in love with you so much, Jesus. That's why I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart out to you every day, Jesus, because I'm in love with you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Nothing comes before you, Jesus. You are my everything, Jesus. You are number one uno in my life, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Continue to pour your, your heart out to Jesus right now today, my brothers. Continue to pour your heart out to Jesus right now today, my sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We are trusting you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, it's hard, but we are thanking you. We always seek in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even though the enemy is trying to come and try to take us out, Jesus, but we know the enemy is already lost. That's why the enemy is fighting us so hard because he already know he's defeated. He already know he already lost the battle in the war. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're so worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. God is good all the time. And all the time. God is good. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. But let Jesus know that you can't thank him enough, that you can't thank him enough, and that you can't thank him enough. Amen? Amen. I believe this word is for somebody. I believe that this anointing message is for somebody. And through this word, and through this message that God is about to speak to you right now today, he's going to strengthen a lot of my brothers and my sisters today. And he's going to make you uncomfortable. He's going to make you get out of that shell that you've been in. Because we all have been in this type of shell before. And he's going to move through you right now today. He's going to enlighten you right now today. And he's going to speak to you right now today. It's something that y'all need to do, my brothers. It's something that y'all need to do, my sisters. I ain't saying that you got to do it today. But eventually, you're going to have to do it. It's all right here in the word. Not my word, but right here in the word. Right here. The word that stands is something that you have to do. And you know who you got to do it for. Because Jesus is about to speak to you. Amen. Amen. He please turn our, our Bibles to 1 Peter chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 9. 1 Peter chapter 3, and we're going to read verse 9. And if you have it, let the church say amen. Amen. Do not repay evil with evil, or insult with insults. 
but with blessings, because to this you are called so that you might inherit a blessing. Mm, 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 mm. The, only, the only way that you're going to get your blessing, you can't do the person the way they did you. You cannot pay evil for evil. You can't nick and pick because they nick and pick. You can't snitch because they snitched on you. You can't roll them up under the bus because they rolled you in a bus. You can't do it. Because when you're doing it, you are no better than he or she. You are in the same boat as he and she, the one that did it to you. So I can't do you the way that you done me. I can't cheat on you the way that you cheat on me. I cannot deceive you the way that you deceive me. I cannot steal from you the way that you stole from me. I cannot spread lies and rumors on you the way that you done me. I can't do you like that. I can't do you dirty like that. I cannot be low down the way that you was low down to me, my brothers, my sisters. I was not built like that. I was built from a different cloth. So the way that you done me, I'm not going to do you the same way, even though I know that you are expecting me to do that to you, but I can't do you like that. Even though when you done me that way, you broke my heart. Even the way you done me like that, you deceived me. In the way you done me like that, I was hurt for quite some time. But I, as time goes on, my pain and my healing, it was healing. But I still, right now to this day, I can't do you the way that you done me. I cannot roll you up on the bus the way that you done me. I cannot be trying to trying to sabotage you. I cannot be trying to come out of your job. I cannot hate you. I can't envy you. I can't be jealous of you the way that you done me. I just can't do it, my brothers. I just can't do it, my sisters. But there's somebody right now today, you realize that somebody done you like that. And right now, I know that you are upset. I know that you are five mad. And I know that you're trying to pay, you're trying to get them back right now. But God sent me here today and he said, LT, tell my sons right now, tell my daughters right now that they cannot pay evil from evil. Because if you do that, you are doing the same thing as they doing. And if you're doing that, you are blocking your blessing. Sin. Do not block your blessing because they done you like that. I know it made you feel a certain way. I know you want to smack the taste out of him, and I know that you want to smack the taste out of her. We only human. It's our flesh that want to do that. But you got to take a step back and say, I was made different. I was cut from a different cloth. The way that you done me, I cannot do that. The way how you betrayed me, the way how you how you try to how you try to just do me wrong, the way how you just turned your back against me, I can't do you like that. I'm not low down like that. I'm not dirty like that. My parents raised me better than that. So I cannot do you the way that you done me. I just can't do it. Because I know right from wrong. Yes, it made me feel some type of way. It made me even look at you some type of way. But the word of God said, still break bread with them. Hallelujah. This right here is going to make you feel uncomfortable right now today, my brothers. This word, this anointing message is going to make somebody feel uncomfortable even though they done you wrong. Even though they done you dirty, Jesus still said, break bread with them. You pray for them. No matter what. And I know you probably say, man, I don't want to pray for him. I don't want to pray for her. I'm not going to break bread with him. I'm not going to break bread with her. You see how they done me? That was wrong. And Jesus said, look how many times y'all done me like that. Didn't I still break bread with you? Didn't I still help you? Then I, was I still there when you needed me? Good God Almighty. I know some of y'all ain't got nothing to say now. What's the difference? We did it to Jesus, even though that brother and that sister did it to you. So why can't we forgive them and break bread with them and still pray for them? And still help them, even though they might be in need right now. Even though you continue to play it off like nothing happened. Continue to talk to him. Continue to talk to her. Even though they rubbed you the wrong way. One thing you got to look at it, my brothers. One thing you got to look at it, my sisters. 
It's not them who is doing that. And the reason why I can tell you that it's not them because their spirit is not right. Their soul is not right. Whenever that your spirit and your soul is not right and it's being attacked and it's being used and played by the, by the, by the evil one, it's not him and it's not her. So that's why we cannot repay evil for evil because it is evil that rolled you up on the bus. It is evil that snitched on you. It is evil that stole from you. It is evil who spread their lies and rumors on you. It is evil who going back telling the supervisor and the superintendent everything about you. It is the evil one. The evil person, the evil spirit and evil soul has taken over over that brother and my sister. It is the evil one that did it to you. That's why Jesus is saying don't pay evil for evil. Because evil is not inside of you. When you got the Holy Spirit, oh help me Jesus, when you have the Holy Spirit that is living inside of you, I know it's going to make you mad. But the Holy Spirit is saying, don't do it. Just pray for him. Still break bread with them and this happen. Because you are not made like them. You are cut from a different cloth. Think about the time before the Holy Spirit was in your life. Think about before you had that relationship with Jesus. You were doing the same thing just as the evil person was doing. Doing somebody dirty. Talking behind people back. Spreading lies and rumors. Snitching on them. Just doing all kind of dirty stuff. Being low down. We all have done it before. So don't sit there and say that you never done it. We all have done it before. Some of us one time, some of us multiple times, some of us we still doing it because we don't know no better. It's not them. They're in this dark place of so what they're doing, they thinking it's right. What they doing, they thinking it's cool. What they doing, they think they're getting ahead of life, but they don't realize they ain't going away because they're being used. They're being manipulated. That's what the word of God said. Do not pay evil for evil. You don't want to block your blessing, my brothers, for doing to them what they did to you. You don't want to block your blessing, my sisters, for what they did to you. You don't want to do to them. That's why I can't do you like that. I can't do you the way that you done me. I just can't do it. You can call me lame. You can call me soft. You can call me sucker. You can call me a buster. You can call me whatever that you want to call me. Names do not hurt me, but I cannot, I cannot do you the way that you've done me. Yes, I'm going to feed you with a long hand of spoon. Yes, I'm going I'm to look at you real, real kind of funny for a little bit. I'm going to keep it real with you, but I still can't do you the way that you've done me. I can't do it. It's not inside of me to do it. And the reason why it's not inside of you because you have the love of the living God that is living inside of you. And when you have the living God that is living inside of you, you produce fruit. You produce love. You produce peace. You produce forgiveness. You produce that you're going to break bread with that brother and sister. Amen? Amen. And I know God, the God is telling me that you got to break bread with him. Turn our Bible to Matthew 26. And we're going to read verses 20 through 26. That's Matthew 26. And we're going to read verses 20 through 26. And if you have it, let the church say amen. Amen. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth. One of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say, to him, one after another, surely not I, Lord. Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. Mm -mm -mm. The son of man will go just as it is written about him, but woe to the man who betrayed the son of man. It will be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him says, surely not I right by. Do you see how the evil was already taking control of, of Judas? It wasn't Judas. It was Satan had taken over him. His spirit was not pure no more. His soul was not pure no more. Everything about him was dark. Everything about him was, 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 was corrupt. So the same ones who were snitching on you, 
throwing you up on the bus, deceiving you, stealing from you, spreading lies and rumors about you, just trying to do whatever it is. It's not them. It's not them. Their spirit is nasty. They heart is nasty. Right now, they're being controlled and being corrupt by the evil one. And I know these parts are saying, I don't care. I can't believe they done me like this. Do not try to attack him. Do not try to attack her because it's not them, my brothers, my sisters. It's not them. Right now, they're in some type of coma. Right now, they're in some type of trance. Right now, what they're doing, they think it's the right thing to do, but they don't realize it is the wrong thing to do. And to God, grace, remove that darkness and to God, take that nasty heart inside of him and her and place his heart inside of him and her and drop a, a sprinkle of his blood. Then they realize what they did. Right now, they don't know. And I know you probably say, but I know him for a long time. And I know her for a long time. I can believe they snitched on me like that. I can believe they turned on me like that. I can believe they deceived on me. I can believe they stole from me. I would have gave it to them, but they ain't had to steal from me. They ain't had to take from me. They ain't had to rob from me. They ain't had to do me like that. They didn't have to do me like that. They didn't have to betray me like that. They didn't have to... They ain't had to take what I told them and tell everybody because what I told them, it was something personal. It was a secret. And I thought he was my homeboy. I thought he was my homegirl. I thought she was my wife. I thought he was my husband. I thought he was my brother, my sister. I thought he was my real family. I thought he was my in-law. I thought he was my pastor. But he had to do me like that. She didn't have to do me like that. But Jesus said, it's not them. Pray for him. And still break bread. Now here there's somebody who deceived Jesus. Betrayed him. Betrayed him. The moment that Judas said not nah, I. The Satan already took over. Satan started speaking through Judas. And look what Jesus said. Jesus answered. Yes. It is you. Yes. It is you. And while they were eating. Jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take it and eat it. This is my body. Do you see how Jesus still broke bread with the enemy? Do you still see how Jesus broke bread with the person who deceived him, who rode him up on the bus, who betrayed him, he did him, who did him dirty? If Jesus can still break bread with the one who done him like that, he is telling me to tell you the same thing. Break bread with him. Break bread with her. Why do you think that Jesus broke bread with Judas even though he did it? Because in with Jesus' eyes, Jesus is saying, I know that's not Judas. I know who don't enter into his body. I know who don't enter into his soul. I know who don't enter into his heart. I know who don't enter into his mind. And you got to sit back and you got to look at it the same way because you are cut and made from a different cause, my brothers and my sisters. Because at one, at one point, we were just like Judas. We were just like him. Every last one of us. Keep it real. Be honest. But we got out of that trance. We ask God for forgiveness and we repent our sins. That darkness, that nasty man disease, that nasty woman disease, it will move away from us. And Jesus put his heart inside of us. And he put a, a sprinkle of his blood inside of us. That's why we became light. That's when we became love. That's why we was able to forgive. That's why we can't do to people the way they've done us. That's why you can't do it. Because you are cut from a different cloth now. You are made different. You was born different. The old is gone and the new is here. Jesus saying, still break bread with them. Pray for them. Because they don't know. They don't know what they're doing. They've lost. It's not them. It's not them, my brother. It's not them, my sisters. And I know some of y'all probably feeling uncomfortable right now because a lot of you right now today, you are stubborn right now. Come on now, I'm talking to somebody. The reason why a lot of y'all right now today don't want to break bread with the person that done you wrong is because you are stubborn. The reason why a lot of y'all right now today don't want to forget the person that deceived you, that betrayed you, that lied on you, that, that stole from you, is because you are stubborn. And you're trying to pay him back. I know you are. 
because Jesus already know. That's why he told me to, to talk to y'all today. He said, do not pay evil for evil because when you, the moment you do it, you are blocking your blessing. You don't want to block your blessing, my brothers. You don't want to block your blessing, my sister, because the way that they done you. That's why you can't do them the way they done you. It's because you have a blessing with your name on it. Jesus is expecting you to be the bigger man and you to be the bigger woman. Jesus is expecting you to take the high road. Jesus is expecting you to look over and say, you are not them. You are cut and made from a different cloth. That's why he is. A, that's why he's expecting a lot out of you right now today, my brothers, my sisters, because he's expecting you to pick up that phone and say, no matter what, call him and her. Send him an email right now. Send him a text message right now. When you see him at work tomorrow, shake that hand, give him a hug and say, Jesus love you. Say, I forgave you. Is there anything I can do for you? Just walk up to him or walk up to her and just put your hands on him or her and just begin to pray for him. Whatever it is that Jesus is telling you right now today, do this message, do this sermon, you need to do it because that's what Jesus did. He still broke bread for Judas, even though Judas betrayed him. Even though Judas set him up, he still broke bread with the man. He still broke bread with the enemy. Can you break bread with the person that deceived you? Can you break bread with the person who lied on you? Can you break bread with the person who spread the rumors on you? Can you break bread with the one who trying to set you up? Can you break bread for the one who lied on you? Can you break bread with the one who trying to steal your job and your position? Can you break bread for the one who cheated on you? Can you break bread with the one who stole your husband or your wife? Can you break bread with your wife even though she cheated on you? Can you break bread with your husband even though he cheated on you and he had an outside child? Can you break bread with your brothers right now? Can you break bread with your sisters right now? Can you break bread with your enemies right now? Can you break bread? Can you break bread? Let's go to Luke 23. And we're going to read verse 24. That's Luke 23. And we're going to read verse 24. And if you have it, let the church say amen. Amen. So Polite decided to grant their demand. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for instruction and murder, the one they asked for and surrendered Jesus to do their will. But Jesus saying, Father, please forgive them because they don't know. That was Jesus sent me here today to tell you right now today, my brothers and my sisters. He said, please forgive him. Please forgive her because yet, they do not know. Why do you think Jesus is saying they don't know? He's saying it because it's not them. He's saying it because you are cut from a different cause. He's saying it because it is the Holy Spirit that is living inside of you. It is Jesus' love that is pouring through your blood and through your veins right now. That's why he said, please forgive them because they don't know. And I know they, I know it's making you feel some type of way. I had to do it today myself, my brothers, my sisters. There been a lot of people at my job been coming at me, left and right. I text out the text out the text. And as I looked at it, I didn't even get mad. I realized what it was. I said, for them to come at me like that, I know it must be a blessing. First Peter 3 and 9 tell me that because I didn't pay evil for evil. The reason why these attacks are coming the way they're coming is because the enemy already lost. So right now he's trying to find any scheme and way to try to knock me down. Even though I know they done me like that. Even though I went to work this morning, I still was speaking to them. I still had that same smile on my face. I still shook hand with them. That's called me breaking bread with my brothers and my sisters because they don't know. I broke bread with them. I didn't pay evil for evil. I didn't go snitch on them. I didn't go roll them up under the bus. I didn't go tell the supervisor. I didn't go tell the general manager. I didn't go tell her and be sneaky because I saw something they did and I know I could I could have went and told somebody today, but I didn't do that because I can't do them the way they done me. I'm not built like that. I'm not I'm not moved like that. I'm not even transformed to do that. I broke bread with them. I forgave them. Right now, Jesus is telling me to tell you right now today, 
Forgiveness is the key. Forgiveness is the key of this whole message today, my brothers and my sisters. That's the point. I'm coming at somebody today. Are you willing to forgive the person that deceived you? Are you willing to forgive that person who lied on you, who spread the rumors, who's coming at you, who throw you up under the bus, who is spreading all kind of accusations about you? Are you willing to forgive your husband for what he did? Are you willing to forgive your wife for what she did? Are you willing to forgive your brothers and sisters for what they did? Are you willing to forgive your in-laws and your family members for what they did? Are you willing to forgive that co-worker for what he or she did? Are you willing to forgive that church member right now today? Forgiveness is the key. And Jesus said, Father, yet they do not know. When they were crucifying Jesus and they set him up, they were stoning him. And he looked up and said, Father, please forgive them because they don't know. They don't know what they're doing because it's not them. It's not them. That's why it's so important to forgive them. That's why it's so important to turn the other cheek. And I know it's something, I know it's hard for y'all to do. It took me a long time for me to realize that. It took me a long time to figure it out. But I had to do it. Because I'm not made like them. I was built and cut from a different cloth. You're not made like them, my sisters. You're not made like them, my brothers. You are made and cut from a different cloth. We can't do them the way that they done us. Are you willing to forgive them today? I believe today that my brother's going to forgive somebody today. I believe today that my sisters is going to forgive somebody today. God is expecting you to do it. Amen. Amen. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying this simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is witness.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always continue to pick up your cross and fall in him. Always continue to um, choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you haven't seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. I just ask y'all guys continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. This seven minutes LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' holy mighty name, God bless you. Amen.